Hey guys, Brugley here, and today I want to talk about something a little bit different. You saw the title, you saw the thumbnail, and I know you're thinking to yourself, the back rooms of Gravity Falls, what the heck does that mean? What are you talking about? Are you okay? I, I'm okay, I guess. No need to fear, though. That is why I make these videos to explain the obscure lore of entities and places and different spooky things. And that is exactly what this video is about today. The back rooms of Gravity Falls, or as its in-universe name calls itself, the Always Garden. Get it? Like it's Olive Garden from real life, but it's Always Garden. <laughs> This is a place in Gravity Falls that's an infinitely sprawling labyrinthine hallway system with nothing but Italian restaurant furniture and food for millions and millions of miles. And it is indeed referenced in Gravity Falls canon. So what does it mean? How did this happen? How in the world are these two genres connecting? It's crazy, I know. But all of these questions will be answered in this video. Without further ado, let's just get into it. Also, if you thought my hyperfixation over the backrooms and SCPs and Trevor Henderson stuff was crazy, Gravity Falls is definitely up there for me as well. <laughs> but so let me just dive into the backstory of how we got here and how it all started. Gravity Falls has been a very, very, very popular show for well over a decade now, but specifically in the past few months, since the release of a book, a metric ton of new resurged popularity has come out. And that popularity has skyrocketed due to the book of Bill releasing back in July. Now the book and its contents therein is an entirely different can of worms, an entirely different video I can make, but the book of course follows Bill and his life story and the evil and corruptness that is therein. There's more documents, there's more cryptic clues, and it's all from the mind of the author and creator, Alex Hirsch, who is crazy for inventing all this, I can't even lie. But this book is where the connection of the back rooms to Gravity Falls begins, that's why it's very important. At the bottom of page 16 in the book of Bill, right next to the copyright notice of the book, there is a website address that you can type in and go to. The address is thisisnotawebsite.com.com, which is, of course, very funny. Ha <laughs> ha. Go into this website, you'll notice a few things. Originally, when this site was opened, it looked a little different than it does now, but back then, the visitor was greeted by a login screen with a triangle above it. There was an entire ARG scavenger hunt to find the password to unlock this page, and eventually it was found, of course, through the Book of Bill. The password for this website was found in a passage from the One True Intelligence Test section of the book, and when you read question number seven on this page upside down, uh, there's a hidden message there that says, need a password, fine, I'll talk. Tilting the book to the right reveals another secondary secret message. In that little grid, it says, it's the name of the eyeball doc. Earlier in the book, Bill jokes around and says that he's gonna make you read the entirety of Great Gatsby instead of reading the rest of his book. And inside the book of The Great Gatsby, there is an eye doctor, an optometrist, named T.J. Eckelberg. And what did that hidden message say? It said, it's the name of the eyeball doc. The name of the eyeball doctor is T.J. Eckelberg. Wow, I'm so smart. And once that was typed in the box, a ton of new worms crawled out of the can. Once it was typed in, a countdown was revealed on the page, displaying a countdown from the website's discovery until 12 p.m. on July 30th, 2024. After the countdown ended, nothing happened. Like, no bombs went off, nothing was, nothing released, nothing happened. And the page is just renamed to Time is Dead and Meaning Has No Meaning, which of course is a direct reference to the dialogue from Bill in the Weird Mageddon episode. The website then changed to an animation of Seuss panicking while replacing wires on a machine. Then earlier this month on August 9th, uh, Seuss finished fixing the site, which had been down for well over a week. After this, a couple new countdowns ensued and yada yada yada. Eventually, they all ended and all the countdowns came to zero. And after that very last countdown, the new version and the current version of the website was released. And finally, yes, I'm finally getting there. This is how we get to the back rooms of Gravity Falls. The new version of the website has this interactive desk scene that's facing a window looking outside of the mystery shack. It's raining outside, it's actually a, a very good ambience, I can't even lie. But there are several things on the website that you can interact with and several things that you can do. There's a copy of the Book of Bill, there's a candle, there's a knife, there's a pyramid light, there's a flask with an eyeball inside of it, but all of that is around the most important thing. A computer right in the middle of the screen. 
This computer is interactive and you can type things inside of it, which may or may not lead to different things. If you click on the text box under the computer and type a random word in, the likelihood is nothing's gonna pop up. But if you type something like the name of a character, for example, or a phrase from the list I'll link below of different things you can type, specific instances will pop up. Like I said, I'll link the entire wiki below of different codes you can type in, but just for example, if you type in baby, then a little ultrasound of tiny little baby Bill inside the womb will pop up with text that says, congrats, guess what's growing inside you right now? See you in nine months, Papa. If you type in clone or paper jam or paper jam dipper, then a picture of paper jam dipper will pop up on the screen. If you type in death, then the monitor will say life's goth cousin. It's all very funny, all very cutesy, but none of that matters until we get down to the keyword that this video pertains to. If you go to the website and type in the keyword horror, H-O-R-R-O-R, -R -R, something interesting and different than the rest of the entire list will pop up. And this keyword is not on the fandom. This is not on the list. You cannot look this up. This is a very secretive thing. If you type in horror on the computer, this strange document will pop up entitled Urban Legend number 42814, The Always Garden. At the very bottom of the document, under the text, a picture of a room that looks like the back rooms is visible with the title, The Always Garden. Hey, regret about it. You get it? This is what the text above that picture says. Now that's a spicy purgatory. Usually found in strip malls and acid flashbacks, the Always Garden looks like a medium budget Italian restaurant. But if you walk inside to grab a handful of Parmesan, you'll discover you're now forever lost in the labyrinthine digestive tract of an ancient unknowable God. Come for the damp Caesar salad. Stay because escape is literally impossible. As the commercial says, the always garden. When you're here, you're here. And as you can see, that's a direct reference to the back rooms, even going as far as to say damp Caesar salad when the back room says moist carpet. It's all very cutesy. It's literally one to one to the back rooms. Even the design of the image is inside the back rooms. The image itself is interesting as well because there seems to be tables on the ceiling, meaning that the gravity is different. There's also escalators that go up and down, which shows there's different floors. And obviously you can see the restaurant that's laid out like an Italian place. But why? Why is this reference of all things on this website? And why is it not listed on the wiki about the website? Is it just a funny little nod to the back rooms from Alex Hirsch? Does he like the back rooms and he just wants to reference it? Or could it mean more? Who knows? To be frank with you, Gravity Falls lore and stuff is very non-Euclidean, very trippy, and it's just insane in general, to the point where the backrooms doesn't even seem that crazy. Is this some kind of Easter egg for a future collaboration or something? Maybe a mention that'll be in a future book or another plot as another explorable place in the universe? I don't know. I doubt it. I think the more realistic thing is that this is just a pretty cool nod from the author, Alex Hirsch, to the backrooms. Help me, please. But it is insane to me how something such as the backrooms that used to be such a niche internet mystery is now so popular that massive TV shows are referencing it in like an ARG type way. When I started making videos on the lore of this stuff three to four years ago, I never imagined Gravity Falls would have a crossover with the backrooms. But yeah, there are plenty of other places that have been in Gravity Falls that look, you know, backroomsy and non-Euclidean. Most of the geometry and reality in the show is non-Euclidean, much like the backrooms. Time anomalies, space anomalies, headscapes, and things of that nature, they're all in the show. So the backrooms kind of just blends in directly with it. And I think it's super cool that in the book of the bill ARG, there is a direct reference to it. But I do want to hear your theories on this below. Is this just an entry to the book, like a little cheeky nod, shout out to the back rooms, or does it mean something deeper? Is there a weird connection there? Is there going to be an addition of backroom style concepts in the next issue of a book? It probably doesn't mean that, and I'm just insane. But if it does mean that, I do want to be known as the first person to propose the idea and the theory. So thank you very much. I trademarked this theory. If you want to explore the back rooms part of the Gravity Falls website yourself, the link will be below. You just type in the word horror and it'll pop up. I think it's such a cool nod to the entire concept from Alex Hirsch. I'm so glad he did it. It's such a unique thing and it blends right in with the other liminal horror scapes that have been in Gravity Falls. Anyways, that was me yapping about the back rooms of Gravity Falls, a cool little reference on the new website. I do want to make a huge video about the entities of Gravity Falls on this channel. So if you do want that, leave a like on this. I do not expect this video to do well, to be honest, since it's so different from the usual videos. But recently I have been experimenting with Trevor Henderson creatures, SCPs, the Invincible creatures, and that 
that sort of thing and it's gone pretty well so maybe y'all would watch me cover the entities of other shows and stuff like that anyways i had a lot of fun with this video i really hope you enjoyed it i love gravity falls man i love the back rooms and the little spaces and i think it's so cool these are finally coming together and it's really interesting how no one is talking about it i mean there's a lot of hubbub around this book and not many people are talking about the backrooms reference but yeah hopefully you enjoyed thank you for watching and i will see you later